Andrea, girl, if you don't do the good person stuff and give... Mm, <laughs> Welcome to Season 3, Episode 11 of The Walking Dead. Okay, basically this was yet another recovery episode, because there was a big shootout at the prison last episode where things exploded, so... The gang in prison is pretty much recovering from that. Um, Rick is getting a bit too angry and grumpy and it's kind of annoying, so hopefully... He has some major change or development out of that soon, because, eesh. Um, but Andrea got back to the prison, and she tried to regain everyone's trust, but they were a bit skeptical on her, and she went back to the town with the intention of killing the governor in his sleep. Uh, but of course, because it's Andrea, she could not bring herself to do it. Oh my gosh. But yeah, that's basically most of what happened with the prison gang. I mean, they're also keeping an eye on Merle and Michonne, but pretty much everything else has been covered. Um, on the Woodbur Woodbury, Woodboro, I still cannot mm, get the name, because I suck. Um, but on their side, um, Milton, uh, um, the governor's right-hand man, found the prisoners, or not the prisoners, the people that wandered into the prison that Rick kicked out when he was having his hallucinations. Um, so they are, they are at the town now, so they're probably gonna get revenge on Rick and the gang for kicking them out and putting their lives at risk and stuff. It was pretty crazy, yikes. Um, but one thing about Milton though, his actor is really, really good. Like his nervousness and being anxious when talking to Andrea, that sounded very believable. And then especially when he was relay relaying the conversation to the um, governor, and he was just super tense and stuttering and s pausing all over the place. It was super duper believable, like that, ang that built up anxiety. It just felt like super duper real, so uh, kudos to the actor who plays Milton. I don't know who it is, maybe it's someone I know, the face, seems, the face and voice seem familiar but I just can't quite put my finger on it. Maybe I'll go look it up real quick. All right, I just looked up his actor. It's Dallas Roberts, and nope, I know nothing about this guy. My brain was totally wrong and remembering wrong things. I don't know where I thought I heard his voice or saw his face before, but yep, I don't know him. Anyways, overall, this was a really good episode. Um, another slow-paced one, but still very good. Had some good stuff in it, um, but I think that's about it. Hopefully, Andrea can get her act, uh, her act back together in the next episode, and things will be good, good, and yada yada yada. So, see you guys later next episode. <sighs> Morgan, we saw Morgan again, guys. Oh, jeez. Season three, episode twelve. I need to listen to myself again, because I just said in one of the previous videos that I need to stop expecting this. To be like a cartoon show where s plot points before don't get solved in the same season or whatnot. Like almost three entire seasons later, like we're almost done with the third season, and we saw Morgan in like the first episode and haven't seen him again since. It has been a long time since we've seen Morgan, and now it's finally being continued out of nowhere. Even Merle's plot got continued way sooner, and we didn't see him till the second episode of the series, so. Jeez Louise, I wonder what else kind of things could come up that I don't remember. Um, but I did remember Morgan, though. Um, I just can't believe we actually got it! Uh -huh. Um, but unfortunately, apparently, the signal from the walkie-talkie that Rick was using didn't go through. Because Morgan was... T Morgan was just going on and on about how Rick didn't call, how Rick didn't call on the walkie-talkie. And it was just really sad to hear, and unfortunately his son Dwayne turned. I'm so upset. Dwayne was really cool, both of them, Morgan and Dwayne. And I'm also really sad because Morgan isn't joining the group. He just kind of really lost hope and just went off the deep end and he's rambling and ranting and he's so upset and I feel so bad for the guy. Ugh. Oh, and that's just the deal with Morgan. There's a whole bunch of other stuff that happened this episode. Like Carl and Michonne went off to like this uh, bar or restaurant or something to pick up a family photo of Rick, Lori, and Carl that was left there. And it was really sweet, but Carl was still kind of being a little turd about it. So hopefully he can behave better and mature more. 
Um, because whining and wanting to do things on your own doesn't automatically make you grown up and mature, Carl. Um, but yeah, overall I thought it was a super good episode, especially one based around a supply run. I mean, that could, that could end up boring, like go in a place, get attacked by zombies, fight through, get out, go home, rinse and repeat, another supply episode. But they actually managed to make this one interesting thanks to Morgan. And I really do hope Morgan comes around and finds a way to get back to the gang soon, because I really want him to join. Because he was an awesome character when we first saw him, and it's so sad to see what happened to him. Um, but yeah, I'm sure Morgan will show up yet again, so... Now I wait. I waited this long, I can, I can wait a few more episodes or maybe another season, but... Come on, Morgan. Come on! Season 3, episode 13. Oh, man. Things were getting really tense. So this entire episode was centered around a, a small little meeting between Rick and the governor, trying to sort things out and maybe make a truce, or as the governor said, surrender, which is not good. Um, of course, they're not going to go through with the deal, um, but I suppose this episode was necessary anyways. Um, but the governor wants Michonne. The governor promised Mich if they would leave- <laughs> The governor promised he would leave the gang alone if they gave him Michonne. But that's obviously not going to happen because he's going to kill them all. And Rick's not going to give him Michonne anyways, but... Um, yeah, there was a meeting and it was super tense and I was pretty sure something was going to go wrong eventually. Like maybe they'd get angry and start yelling at each other and then shots would start going off. Then the people outside would start fighting. Um, people like Herschel and Daryl and Andrea and Milton were out keeping watch and this other guy. Um, so they were outside keeping guard to make sure nothing went wrong and they were probably going to step in if something did go wrong. And Milton was actually pretty interesting this episode. He was bonding a bit with Herschel and towards the end when uh, the governor told him that they weren't going to go through with the deal, they were going to kill Michonne and Rick's whole gang, Milton sort of gave this look that gave me in the, uh, Milton gave this look that gave me the impression that he isn't quite all there, or with the governor's plan, so maybe Milton will do something, maybe, it, maybe it'll be the one closest to the governor, <laughs> Milton saves the day, um, but some stuff did go on at the prison too, Glenn and Maggie had a little bit of fun, woohoo, um, yay, but it's nice to see them making up and being happy again. Uh, but also in the prison, Merle is just losing it. He wants to go out there and rip it up himself. And Michonne and everyone has to, you know, hold him back, keep him contained, and stop him from going out there. But maybe he should have, and then this whole ultimatum thing wouldn't have happened. Maybe they wouldn't have had to go to war. So, Merle may have actually been right. Um, but overall, not too much happened this episode. It was just very tense with the meeting and Merle wanting to get out of there and go kill the governor himself and just lots of, lots of build up to the upcoming war. So that's going to be interesting. I have no doubt that we're going to lose one of the main cast, unfortunately, which I'm going to be sad about. Um, but hopefully that will be the end of the governor. Because <laughs> it's war now, not just a battle, it's war. So hopefully he goes down very soon, likely by the end of the season, because there's only three episodes left. Um, but yeah! See you guys in the next episode. Episode 14, ba -na 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 -na. episode 14, pray. Um, so this episode was pretty fun. Um, not a lot happened, but it was still fun, because lots of people are starting to catch on to the governor's stuff. Andrea attempted to leave town and go back to the prison to warn Rick and everyone. And on her way out, she ran into uh, Tyrese, I think his name was, and Sasha or Sandra. I don't know her name. But anyways, Andrea ran into those two, sort of spilled a little bit of beans about the governor. I can't stand it when they, people are vague. Like, like, if they're trying to convince someone and they say, you know, the governor's not a nice guy. No one's gonna believe that if they, all they've seen from the governor is nice things. You have to you have to tell them what happened. Like, he's he shot first. He started the war with the prisoners, or he tortured this little Korean boy and his girlfriend. And geez, 
But nope, you gotta be vague. Of course, Andrea. Um, but anyways, Andrea failed to reach the prison. She was caught at like the last moment because she stopped to pause and smile. I mean, lady, you were running for like all day and all night. And how can you suddenly be tired right when you reach the prison? Why not wait till you get past the gates? I mean, come on. You were so close. Um, but in between all that, her and the, and the governor were in this abandoned warehouse or school or hospital or something. Somewhere abandoned. And they were like wandering around and hiding from each other. And it was pretty, it was a pretty tense moment. Um, but overall, that whole part of the episode was pretty fun to watch, pretty entertaining. But pretty stupid how, he, how she got caught just mere feet away from her goal. And it was stupid and stupid and stupid. Um, but back at Woodbury, um, again, Tyrese, even though Andrea was super vague about it, Tyrese is starting to catch on with, like, the pits of walkers and just how inhumane that is. And he's sto sort of starting to figure things out. And Milton especially. Milton has been talking with Andrea and finding out all these different things. So, you know, Milton may be turning on the governor too. But unfortunately, the governor seems to be catching on to Milton turning on him. So I'm really scared that he's going to kill Milton. Like, well, let's see, 16 is the season finale. So maybe episode 15, next episode, Milton's going to die. I'm predicting it right now. Um, but I really don't want Milton to die. He's pretty cool. He's a pretty smart dude. He would be a good asset to Rick's team. So um, I think Milton would be nice to join the prisoners. So please let Milton join them and not die. But he's probably going to die. So, oh, oh, oh boy. Um, but yeah. So, people are getting skeptical of the governor. The governor is getting skeptical of people getting skeptical of him. And Andrea got captured again after attempting to go to the prison. So, really, she accomplished nothing. It's Andrea. What's new? Ha, ha, ha. Next episode. <laughs> Oh, episode 15. Oh, man. Oh, man. <sighs> All right. So, no wasting more time groaning. Um, This episode was basically um, Rick was thinking about giving Michonne to the governor because the governor made a deal like, I'll leave you alone if you give me Michonne. So, Rick was actually considering it for a while. But he changed his mind, and Merle knew he was going to do that, so he went anyways and took Michonne with him. But about halfway through the trip, he changed his mind too, and instead of going back with Michonne, he just sent her back himself and decided that he was going to go after the governor himself instead of trying to negotiate some kind of deal. Which, good on Merle for that, but unfortunately, it cost him his life. Oh, and he was just starting to think about getting better, too. Come on, Merle. <laughs> but anyways, not much else happened besides that. It was just contemplating whether to give Michonne to the governor or not, and they decided not to. Um, but Daryl did go after Merle, and unfortunately, he didn't make it to Merle in time because Merle failed his mission. He got caught by the governor and just beaten brutally and shot, and it was awful. I mean, I expected someone like Merle especially to put up way more of a fight against the governor, but that ended real fast. Like, jeez, I just wish I had more to talk about. That, like, completely threw me off, and it's, like, almost all I can remember from the episode. Um, but something else is starting to pop up now in my memory. Um, Glenn asked for Herschel's blessing to marry Maggie, and he proposed, and she said yes! So finally... Finally... They're done with the flip-floppy and they have solidified it. Thank you! Thank you, thank you, thank you. Whew! You tied the knot, Glenn. There's no getting out of it now. <laughs> uh, I'm just kidding. Maggie's a sweetheart. I love Maggie. Um, but yeah, those are two pretty big events that happened in very uneventful episodes. Merle's death and zombification and Daryl having to kill him. And then Glenn proposing to Maggie. Um, the rest, again, was contemplating the rules of the prison, whether to give Michonne up or not, or yada yada. Um, Rick is still hallucinating about Lori, but he's more aware that they are just hallucinations. He kept telling himself that he wasn't seeing her, he kept saying she wasn't there, 
but it didn't seem to be working, so he gave in, decided not to give up Michon, and that was good. So, it seems like Rick is finally coming back around after his mental breakdown this season, so... Yeah, time for the season finale. See you guys there. Oh no, they killed Milton! Oh no, he's dead! I didn't want Milton to die. <laughs> And Andrea died too, I guess, but Milton, no! <laughs> so this episode basically opens up on Milton being tortured and beaten and forced to kill Andrea or else he was gonna die, but he refused and he died anyways. Which is upsetting, he got stabbed like 50 times. The governor is killing way too many people. Someone, stop him from killing people. Shane did not get this many people. Jeez. But anyways, Milton got zombified, so... He attacked Andrea while she was still trapped in the chair, but she escaped too late and Milton did get a bite out of her on the neck before she killed him, which is super upsetting. Oh, ha, ha, I feel so bad. Hating on Andrea all this time and then she had to shoot herself just like she wanted to back at the um, end of season one and beginning of season two. Oh, who could have foreseen this? Um, but yeah, aside from those two horrible tragic deaths, um, the governor's group army attacked the prison and they got chased out pretty quickly. I was surprised at how fast they got chased out. I mean, I thought the war was going to be resolved this episode, but I guess it's going to continue on to next season. Um, but they lost that particular battle and Carl is being a stupid turdy brat again. Or a stupid bratty turd, whichever one you want to go with. Basically, he killed someone who was handing over their weapon and got in trouble for it, but no, he had to have an attitude about it. Like, the kid was handing over his weapon, Carl. You didn't need to shoot him. Come on. I'm so upset with Carl. He was one of my favorites. He was like this happy kid looking at a deer, and now he's all like, Meh, emotions? What are those? I just gotta bottle them up while I kill people. <laughs> pow, pow. <laughs> Look at me, huh? <laughs> I'm Carl. Pow, pow, pow. Um, yeah, I'm, I'm sick of Carl. Um, but aside from all the bad stuff that happened in this episode, there was one good thing that came out of it. Um, for the people that the governor did not kill, they heard of his evil and saw his evil, and basically helped the gang get to Andrea easier, and they're joining the prison group. So, they've got a huge increase in numbers over the governor, but I feel like they're not going to last long. They're probably going to be fodder for the next battle in the war for the prison so, it's gonna be sad to see all of them die. <laughs> but hopefully, hopefully things don't go too badly for them and we do get to keep a good number of them because the, the number of uh, protagonists is dwindling. We are very quickly running out of pre-barn characters. <laughs> Meanwhile, we only got like one new prison character in the form of Michonne. And I don't know how long she's gonna last. I mean, I guess we got little, uh, Judith. But she's just a baby, she can't do nothing. Um, but anyways, yeah, that was it for the season finale. Two very big deaths, especially Milton. <laughs> he had so much potential, he was so smart, and... Oh, and Andrea. And, uh, so many people that the governor killed. But we got a bigger army. We got more hope. So hopefully, the governor goes down in the premiere of season four. See you guys next time.